Hey y'all, this is Aaron. So, it is the last week I am here in the Philippines and uh, I had a blast so far, but the last couple weeks, maybe a week or two, uh, it's been really uh, raining pretty hard and there was a big storm, which I'll show you in a little bit. So basically, most of the days I've been going to the mall, but in this area, it's about an hour and a half, so I would take a jeepney going that way. This is how I get there. Oh yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more vids. I know I'll be walking to this 7-Eleven to buy a Gatorade and a snack because it's another 45 minutes to get to Legaspi. Need some Gatorade and some Pringles. Eat before the road. The last time I did this, um, I didn't get any food and I felt really nauseous in 45 minute drive going to Legaspi. So, uh, always have a snack and a drink while you're on the road. And always get some Gatorade <clears throat> on the road because you're gonna sweat a lot and you lose some electrolytes. So, why not better just to get some Gatorade? Yeah, this is the real shoe that I always eat mm -hmm. when I was growing up from right. Magallanes to Sursagon. Mm -hmm. We always pass by, uh, but this is the real shoe powder. So now, right after we get our food and needs, we either try to catch a jeepney to Daraga or we take a bus to Legaspi. But I think, I don't know what we're doing right now, but we're gonna take a bus to Legaspi because it's more roomy. So this is, this is like the main spot to get a bus going downtown. And then we wait and chill for a little bit. So There's no lane in the Philippines, so why bother? It should be in like that, be in about 20 minutes. So uh, after this part, I'll let you know. So they're building an SM Academy that is supposed to be somewhere on this here. So we made it to our arrival. Get out this bus first and head to Ayala. So, we're gonna take a tricycle going to Ayala. Uh, it's a little farther as usual, but this is the bus station here. And uh, like, ask me if you want to go to, say, Daragas, Sigon, or Madeira. 
So there's a little Pasa Lubum Center here near the SM in Progress over there. So we're gonna get them here in about two days because we're going back to Manila. They said this place opens at 7. Holy crap, so many GPs. As of now, we still can't find any tricycles. Or uh, maybe here. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. I got a mobile. Okay, here's the problem. I cannot fit in. Oh, I can't fit there. Okay, I'm sitting in front. So we don't get directly to the mall and we stop here in the bus station take the tricycle going there 30 pesos per ride so this is the problem if you're, you're gonna have a hard time riding the tricycles or the Japanese in the Philippines I'm like 6'2 and a half, 6'3 so most of the time I have to go here with the driver or I have to climb the back. Keep the change, Paul. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Yo, the first thing when I got here is I smelled this. Yo. City Cafe. Yo. Yo. Oh, you have to open it. Yeah, I know. I thought it was you have to pick. So I'm actually here in LCC Supermarket, which is like right next to Ayala Mall. And I'm going to the department store because I haven't even been up there yet. Oh no, wait, I have been here. Never mind. So I only have like one hour to use Wi-Fi. Keep in mind, any any mall that you go to requires you have one hour of free Wi-Fi. Other than that, you gotta pay for the Wi-Fi. So I try to use my Wi-Fi with my phone and my laptop conservatively as possible. So a tip while using Wi-Fi in the malls, turn off your Wi-Fi when you're not using it. And every time, I would go up to the fourth floor at Starbucks to do my thing and see the view of Mount Mayo. See, Starbucks is like right there. luck right now sitting at a table because all the seats are filled I'm probably just gonna stand here or try to find another place where I can sit down okay I was able to find a seat this is a perfect place to do work on the vlog while uh Pretty much what I do for about two and a half to three hours. And I do the same thing going back to Makali, uh, another hour and a half, two hours depending on traffic. But as you know, we always have to go home and try to find a cheap name. However, this area didn't look like this a couple days ago. So a couple days ago there was like a flood around here and it like pretty much flooded the whole road here in Legaspi. And so here's a video of what happened. I think we found our ride. So I received like a text alert from my phone saying that in Tandawan there's a bunch of landslides going on and it's kind of the same as over here where it's flooding. That's kind of crazy right now. What's crazy is even the mini tricycles and the jeepneys ones even take us there. It's just kind of a bummer, but I understand. So I wouldn't really complain about it. Well, I don't think I got a choice. Well, thanks for picking this up. <laughs> that, that, that was freaking crazy. Uh, Look at this. To me. I know, I know. Wow.
I can't believe I have to go through this. This is crazy, wild. But it's kind of fun. So yeah, that cleared out of the way and the storm and the rain's been happening for like two weeks. That's yeah, that's that's a that's pretty much what happened the last time I was here. So yeah, that's basically how my days went. Anyways, uh thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again later. If I could take you